Technology today has made it easier than ever to communicate and stay in touch with our loved ones. But that was not always the case. Can you imagine waiting days to receive a message or browsing newspapers to look for jobs? Hey guys, welcome to Detori. In today's video, we will be talking about how people communicated before cell phones were invented. And let me tell you this, you will be grateful to your handheld device once the video ends. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Number 1. Use birds and horses to deliver important messages. In this fast-paced world, even thinking of using such a mode of communication would be downright absurd. The closest thing to a bird that is being used today to deliver messages is probably Twitter. But back in the ancient days pigeons were used. Why, you must be wondering. Well, pigeons are exceptionally great at locating their homes over large distances making them an ideal communication choice for delivering messages to faraway receivers. Back then, people relied greatly on physical communication. Any message that was supposed to be delivered was delivered through persons or scriptures carried by persons. That is fine if you are communicating in the same street or area. But what if you want to receive a message across to a different area and you are in a bit hurry? This is where pigeons came into use. They were trained to locate receivers, and they could also fly over 50 miles allowing allowed for speedy communication. This bode exceptionally well in terms of sending important messages or instructions, so much so that the military also utilized this mode of communication. And the results of the first ever Olympics held in 776 BCE were also announced by the birds taking flight from Greece and flying across different villages to Athens. While the birds were effective and speedy, the only restraint was distance. Sure, they could cover a few miles or even a few hundred miles, but what if the journey is thousands of miles? That is where horses came into use. Due to their endurance and strength, horses were used as modes of communication over large distances. The only catch was time, but that was the best you could get in that period. Number 2. Posted letters to keep in touch with people. Today, if you wish to ask your friend how their day went or perhaps to inform them of something, you could simply type out a text and send it to him over the internet through any of the applications. They will receive the message instantly and can reply to you, all in a matter of seconds, regardless of their geographical location, be it the same city or even a different country, provided they have a strong internet connection. This is how easy keeping in touch with friends and family has become today. But, in the past, this was not the case. Actual physical effort was required to stay in touch or communicate with people. Whether you were just wishing to ask them about their health or inviting them to a wedding or whatnot, you would have to pick up a pen and paper, draft a letter, head towards the postal office, and then post it to the person you are communicating to. And then depending on the geographical distance between you both and the operational schedule of the postal service, you will be notified of an expected delivery time. Then you can go home and wait for days at their end for their response, and the cycle continues. Can you imagine going through such an ordeal today to ask your brother or friend, what's up? Number 3. Telegraph to communicate through electricity. The horses and letters worked fine, but the only problem was the time it took for both parties to communicate effectively. Both those modes would take days, often weeks, for any sort of communication to happen especially if both parties were displaced by distance. In the 1800s, the issue regarding speed was to be taken up as a challenge. During a class in 1831, Professor Joseph Henry demonstrated that with the help of electricity, he could ring a bell placed far away at a distance. For this demonstration, he used a mile-long copper wire and electromagnet, a battery, and a steel rod, and voila, he could ring the bell just by using electricity. Little did the professor know that his discovery would change the face of communication. One man named Samuel Morse got particularly interested in the discovery and came up with a technique of communication called telegraphy. He developed an experimental device by 1835 that would communicate through a wire using current. Although the device did not send out messages and letters, it was able to communicate through a dot and dash a combination of which referred to different letters. This was later known as the Morse code. The telegraph was effective in sending messages to parties spread over distances fast. This helped vastly improve communications during the period. Number 4. Telephone for speech communication. The telegraph provided an amazing solution. However, there was one problem with the telegraph. It could only send and receive one message at a time. So, although it was speedy, a lot of patience was required. This birthed the idea of a multiple telegraph system in the mind of Alexander Bell. He became the first man to develop a telephone and change how people communicated forever. He envisioned communication through voice during his experiments on developing a multi-telegraph system. A crazy idea indeed. However, he and Thomas Watson realized that tone could be transmitted but would vary the strength of the current. For this, a transmitter able to produce varied currents and a receiver to reproduce the currents is required only. During one of his experiments, in 1875, he could hear sound for the first time. A few more improvisations and the telephone came into being a year later. Number 5. Use fax machines to send important documents. Imagine yourself in the 1970s or 1980s working for a firm that has multiple offices in different cities. 
you have to send some important documents from your office to the other office in a different city. Your only options would be either using a postal service or sending an office worker from your office to the other office. However, there is a catch. You are a bit short on time. This is where fax machines come into use. The fax machine that we see around was first introduced in the 1960s. It was a breakthrough in official communications when it came into existence. Back then, the only possible way to share documents was through hand or postal services. Both these methods were time-consuming and time, as we know, is of the essence, especially when professional stakes are involved. The fax machine solved this problem by presenting an ingenious solution. The machine could scan the document or an image and then transmit the scan through a landline to the receiver, where the scan would be reproduced. This changed how information was communicated between offices and businesses. However, the evolving technology rendered the fax machine obsolete, and today it is difficult to find a working office still relying on fax machines to communicate information and other documents. Email and communication applications today have made communicating official information easier and faster. And the last on the list is job opportunities communicated through newspapers. Long before LinkedIn and the internet made finding jobs easier, your best shot at getting a job was either through a newspaper or word of mouth, which meant that you had to browse newspapers daily in order to learn about vacancies and, God forbid, if you had skipped the newspaper, you had skipped on chances of potential employment which is probably why people in the past read newspapers a lot as they were not a great source of entertainment but also a way to stay in touch with what was happening in the surroundings. As there was no television in that time, newspapers have been around for decades, long before even telephones were commercialized so in that time and era, you could not phone a prospective employer and ask for information as you can now. Your best bet for any kind of information was a newspaper. If you require more information, you could see the employer yourself. However, as technology advanced telephones, televisions, and the internet ultimately made it easier to spread information regarding jobs, companies and businesses today can now attract potential employees by running advertisements online and accepting resumes and CVs online. They can then filter out candidates and interview them while also being able to answer any queries and communicate through telephone. Technology has now also enabled people to apply and work for jobs available in different countries. Can you imagine this just a few decades ago, back when you had to skim through newspapers to find jobs? That is it for today. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below which communication method you didn't know about, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated whenever we post a video. Until next time, peace.